time the fruit pass in these trojes, the best quality of oil will have, because if not, the fruit will start ferment too. Mm -hmm. Varieties we have in Spain. Three are used to elaborate oil and other two are used to, uh, to be eaten. On the corner you have a variety in Italy, but it's more and more planted in here in Andalusia because of the climate. Normally the maturity point was really early uh, or, or soon. making or elaboration of the olive oil. In front of us we have the first step, the, uh, the, the milling of the olive's fruit. Uh, in here we have a mill from the 19th century and in here it, it, we make this uh, breaking of the fruit of the olives. On the other part of this piece on wood, we have an animal, normally a donkey, that was the responsible of making this circular movement. Nowadays, it's completely different. Yes. We have the pressing system in this olive oil museum. We have two parts for this pressing system, and in this case, we have this part, we have that we call in Spanish palo pedro. The piece in wood, uh, we, we make this circular movement. On the other part of the press, we have this wheel that goes up and down into the wall because we want to preserve constant the temperature of the olive oil during the whole year. No, we have a little glass or lead. Uh, also, I want you to see this landscape, this ocean of olive trees, the only landscape we have once we have passed uh, these limits of the province of Cuba. Normally those co copper boilers were used to heat the water and with this hot water we inside the wheel. So we stopped the transmission of the strength. I want to... No, I didn't want to that. I... <laughs> and here we have a pair of sandals that even nowadays are used in a specific uh, time of the year. During the Holy Week, here... In This is the beam press. As you can see, we have a huge beam with 19 meters long and it's completely solid. Finds of the market. You can see we have a little hole in this part of the tank that communicates with the second one in order to have the most or the purest olive oil floating and filtering to the second tank. The oil from the tank number 10 was the most, uh, the best, the best, the best. Of the, of, with the most quality and this one was the worst. Also I want you to see this the structure with this, or this ceiling we have on the top of our heads. We have the olive oil on the top, so the cork was floating and the piece of wood was on this side. Now I think you deserve it, we are going to pass to do our tasting and we are going to talk now about the different qualities of oil and also the different flavors we'll find from our market. Sensorial tasting. And also we have a really low acidity, between 0.2 to 0.8 degrees of acidity. 